This is our first attempt at cooking outside over a real campfire. We gotta keep moving because the wind keeps shifting. It is our last it is our last night here, so we decided to try something new. Yeah, it has this great fire pit set up. Steve made an amazing fire, so we thought we'd cook some potatoes, onions, and bacon over the fire. Oof. Oof. <laughs> it's a learning experience. <laughs> Boy, that's a beautiful fire. Look at all that heat. Look at these potatoes we found at the grocery store the other day. They're tiny. We had to try them. And we love potatoes that size. And we had the bacon that was already cooked. Just browning up some onions and some garlic. Mm. This is boudin sausage. So it's filled with rice and pork. Actually. Serve you up a bowl? Let's do it. Sauce. Campfire dinner is served. Boom. We should consume around the campfire. We should. Where'd the big one go? Big one's inside. Ah, uh, little one's here. She wants to eat some. Take a bite. Let's go. Let's see this. Let's do some avocado, some onions, and a potato. Potatoes turned out good. Good. Oh my gosh, that was fantastic. <laughs> I should be filming you. Uh, we're eating and all, the, and like every few bites, I hear Steve going, "Oh, this is good." <laughs> it turned out really, really well. It was a good first meal cooked on a campfire. Patty enjoyed it too. Yep. Let's go look see if I spilled it. All that wood was piled high up to that grate and look, oh man, it all disappeared. Burnt down to nothing. Isn't that right, Penny? This is moving day. We're moving north to a harvest host in Delaware. It'll be our first time in Delaware in the Airstream. Actually, my first time in Delaware, period, I think. I don't know, pretty close to that. So that'll be interesting. It's a nice, warm, 70 degree day. We have something to tell you first. And that is the Harvest House is in Maryland and not Delaware. <laughs> Pretty sure. I have to look at that. I it's right no, on the border. Yeah. 
<laughs> I am at, at any given time I am about 30 to 40 percent certain about what we're doing the very next day at all times <laughs> or, or the day of or the day of yeah. usually it's that 60 to 70 percent that I just have no idea what's going on <laughs> at least one of us does um, anyway after the RV entrepreneur summit we decided we wanted to share our love of RVing with more people um, we have this channel which we love and we have our course but we thought why not try to reach more people? So we started something. We're calling it RV, Epic RV Tips. We started something. It is a free email list. So every single week, we send out an email with an Epic RV Tip. Stuff from the course, stuff from the channel, stuff we've learned along the way. We're gonna have guest people come in and do emails. Spo not sponsor, but uh, show off some of the other RVers in the industry and some of the stuff they're doing, but all of it will be tips for RVers, whether brand new or experienced. So if you are interested in signing up for a free email list, we will put the link up above in the card and down below in the description so that you can check it out. Epic RV tips. Hopefully this way we can share how awesome RVing is with lots of people, or at least tips for how to make RVing awesome. And this should go without saying, but no spam. Nope. You could unsubscribe at any time, even though we'll be sad if you do, but there's a, there's a link at the bottom of the email. Just unsubscribe if you don't want it. Yeah. So. so if you're nothing to lose, nothing to out. lose. That's what we've been working on, getting those emails up and going and uh, coming up with new ideas and reaching out to people to have some cool and interesting stuff on there. So that's right. All okay. right. We should probably start. We should pack up out. so we can head to Maryland and then Delaware the next day. I we're guess. getting there. We will go to Delaware. I we'll promise. I Eventually. promise we're going to Delaware. Okay, perfect. <laughs> All right, time to get packed up. The first thing I do is put the bikes on the front of the truck. Then I move over here and start disconnecting all the hoses and stuff. Right now, this is only electric, so I only have one to do. Thing I've noticed with this hitch is this tends to get a little loose sometimes and the problem is this bolt over here becomes loose as I'm driving and this thing wiggles and it just eventually wiggles loose so every once in a while I'll just take a wrench tighten this back up and then that's pretty tight Yeah, don't, don't rush. Don't rush, Penny. Yeah. And it is as simple as that. Took a grand total of about 20 seconds. I love this thing. Don't forget the plug. Oh yeah. The thing that I always forget. Cleaning off our rug. It's nice and dry now. It rained a little bit last night. One last thing before we go, can't forget this. 